this consumer consuming from this topic will not mess with this consumer consuming from this topic so both these consumers will be independent of each other hey everyone welcome back to the channel today we are diving into something foundational for building a scalable and real-time system using apache kafka but before i jump into kafka let me give you a little context so a few months ago i started building a project and as an ai researcher i've been always fascinated by potential of private and local ai so i started building this system that is capable of handling real-time speech transcriptions making decisions based on those transcriptions and taking actions based on those decisions right so it sounds very straightforward at first but it ended up being a very complex journey for me and it tested my problem solving skills and also my understanding of distributed systems so i've been doing a lot of ai research in my past around uh, 15 years back i've been doing some research in optimization algorithms in ai and that is why ai fascinates me a lot if you notice that uh, the response time of these ai large language models if you're hosting it locally of course is not very fast so how can you make and build a real-time communication system and yet have a fast response time right because if you're talking to somebody right like i'm i'm talking to you and you're in front of me in those instances if you do not hear the response back right away then it doesn't feel natural and i wanted to build a system that is natural which brings me to kafka so if you have never heard about kafka don't worry you are not alone but the thing is that uh, kafka will be a very critical tool for building my speech to speech or sts application that i'm that i'm going to be showing to you in this video series so what i wanted to do is to set set the context to set the stage by introducing you all to apache kafka so this video will not only serve as a foundation foundational video for the speech to speech system right because kafka would be that um, centralized place where the message communication will take place so this video will be a foundational for that but also it will be a foundational uh, concept for you for kafka in general so imagine if you're building a large scale application where multiple services need to communicate with each other so we have many ways in which this used to happen right so for example in your local olama khana api model right so this is a traditional rest based system where one service calls another service directly to send or request for data and while this works for simple systems right it it starts to become a problem as you scale what if one service goes down right what if multiple services need the same data what if the volume of the messages skyrocket then what happens right? and we already know that every single request that is being sent to olama is very expensive or to any large language model the tokens are very expensive over here both input and output tokens let's say you are sending this request and the olama server isn't just available at all right or whatever for whatever reason its api isn't working then your request is lost which is not what we want right so kafka solved these kind of issues by acting as a high performance distributed messaging system so think of it as a central hub where producers can produce messages they can they can write data and then consumers can consume and read data at their convenience right they do not need to know about each other this is where kafka comes in and it decouples the system it enables asynchronous event driven communication over here so in the scenario that you see over here above a user is asking you know to olama server to tell me a joke and most likely you know olama server will respond back over here and it will 
tell it the joke that the user is requesting for right so it is a, a rest space call request is being made and response is being sent synchronously now let's say if this olama server wasn't available right if, if this olama server was down for whatever reason right if it if it wasn't there at all then what would have happened so in this case you would request for this question tell me a joke you will not get a response back because you'll probably get a not found server not found or whatever right the olama api will is not existing over here for you so in this situation we if we had some kind of loose coupling loose coupling in the sense that you sent the request tell me a joke which instead of being received by olama it was published as a message to uh a broker for you and, and all these terms will come uh, and, and I'll explain every single aspect of Kafka in this video but let's assume this particular message was sent to a distributed messaging system where you published your message and then some other consumer at later point of time or in the real time either way got the message that you have published right they have subscribed to it or they have they are consuming the messages right so if there is a consumer in between uh, which is consuming the messages and it is sending the request to Olama. so you have now decoupled the system you are sending the messages on one side and the second server is receiving the messages on the other side right so let me let me paint this picture over here in a better way so let's say if you are sending the request this this is you as a user and in the center that you see this is let's say the kafka server over here right uh, so in kafka imagine that there are certain and i'm using this word very loosely over here certain tables right and we'll, we'll be calling these as topics and but you can think of it like tables in your database so so the concepts are, are very different you cannot query these tables right so we'll, we'll come to all those things at a later time but imagine them being like tables in a database where you can publish a message so you can ask hey tell me a joke and you can publish this message to this particular um topic over here right so this topic is user queries topic and let's say there is another application over here which is consuming from this topic right so this application is looking for any messages that anyone has published on this topic and as soon as you have published this message hey tell me a joke this particular message is received by this consumer and then this consumer then says oh there is a message over here let me pull this message and let me receive it so instead of you directly sending this message to the consumer you have published the message to a topic right so you as a publisher you have published the message to a topic and this particular application as a consumer has consumed the message from the topic this consumer has no idea who has published it. it it does not know about it it does not know about the publisher at all anyone can go in and publish it and the consumer will receive this right so we have decoupled this architecture over here so now once the consumer receives this message it can do anything that it wants to do with this message so let's say in this case the consumer decides to do a rest api call to this olama server right now once the consumer does the rest api call gets the joke back so let's say the joke that the olama server sent back was why did the chicken cross the road kind of joke and it sent it back to it and now consumer has that particular answer back from the olama api and then consumer this particular application can spin up its own publisher and publish this particular answer to a different topic right and that topic could be let's say ai responses right so just like in a database you have multiple tables in kafka you can have multiple topics right and this topic is just as a response to an ai and 
for this particular response now let's say there is a consumer that is monitoring this particular topic and as soon as it sees that there is a response over here it doesn't care whether the response came from olama or response came from any other system it doesn't care as long as there is a response over here it will consume it and it will pass it along to the whichever system is uh, looking for it right so this decouples the whole system this architecture over here decouples the whole system now let's assume let's assume the same scenario where this olama server was down right so let's say if this olama server wasn't available and this was down so how would this work for us if the olama server was down so in the same scenario there is a publisher it has published this message over here and in the user queries hey tell me a joke and as soon as the publisher has published the message consumer is listening to it right so consumer is looking for any messages over here and consumer will pull this message from here and it will say yep there is a question there is something for me to consume and it has pulled this particular message tell me a joke and now consumer wants to send this to the olama server however it realizes that yep i'm attempting to connect to olama server and i'm not getting the response back right of course the olama server is down so while the end point over here that the consumer is trying to look for is down this particular message will be marked as if it is not consumed right what does that mean that means that this message will stay over here in this topic pretending as if it was never consumed and this is huge this is huge because the consumer can pull this message again and it will attempt to send this again over here or we can have some kind of retry logic on the consumer right so there are two options that we can do over here option number one there is something called offset right and we'll, we'll talk about these these terminologies in detail but there is a concept of offsets in kafka what that means is it keeps tracks track of what is the last message that was consumed right so if if there is a consumer which is consuming from a topic it will keep on letting the topic know or it will keep on letting the kafka broker know uh kafka server know that i have consumed this particular message or not right so it will keep track of the offset and if this particular message is not consumed properly the consumer will not commit the offset it has a it has an option to not commit that offset and there there are certain delivery semantics and again a technical word of kafka and i'll go into details of this but there is a delivery semantics um concept in kafka which is at least once at most once or exactly once right so if the message was consumed in which way and was it processed in the way the consumer wanted it to process or not right all those things will kick in over here so let's say ulama api comes back after a little while right so let's say after five minutes or so ulama api comes back and consumer has some kind of retry logic built in that hey keep on retrying for four or five minutes and then after five minutes it got the the ulama server's response back from it and then the application will move on to the publisher phase and it will publish it to the ai responses so yes the response will be delayed of course because the server was down but the response will be guaranteed over here as compared to the previous scenario where if the ulama server is down you ask a question and it falls off in the limbo and goes away right you do not have a way to get this particular request from the user whereas in the kafka world you have published a message to a particular topic and there is a consumer monitoring that topic and it is pulling the messages and only if it is successfully able to process the message it commits the offset over here or only if it is able to process the the message in in the retry right it commits the offset over here all right 
so all that being said let me fix this over here all that being said let's let's go deeper into how kafka works and what are the high level um ideas over here so you can see you can already see at the very high level there is a publisher or actually the the more you know um used word is producer over here right P R O D U C E R producer and so let me change this also producer and uh, so producer is so this is a service that publishes messages to Kafka so think of this as a sender of the uh, messaging system over here and then there are topics as you can see uh, so Kafka organizes the messages into topics uh, which are like channels for specific type of data right so in this case the topic is user queries or the topic is AI responses and then consumers are the services that subscribe to these topics and then they process the messages accordingly and then brokers uh, is the concept of uh, so so Kafka has like a cluster of servers right and and they are called these servers are called brokers which manage and distribute the data all right so when should you use Kafka instead of rest so rest is great for synchronous operations and when you need an immediate response even though kafka is very high performant up to 10 milliseconds of response time which is huge right which is huge in terms of performance over here for us um but kafka shines in scenarios where you need high throughput real-time processing and decoupling the system and it is perfect for event driven architectures where multiple services need the same data at either the same time or at different times right so for example let's say uh, if you have sent this message over here to this particular user queries topic right tell me a joke there could have been another consumer also right so there, there could have been another consumer that was monitoring this topic and this consumer would be just going in and writing um, the message to the database right so you can just take in this message and you can write to the database and this consumer consuming from this topic will not mess with this consumer consuming from this topic so both these consumers will be independent of each other any message sent to this topic will be received by both the consumers right so you will send a message over here but it will be received by both these consumers over here and then one consumer will go and write it to the database and second consumer will go and request the response from olama and then proceed forward which is huge actually because now um, we, we are talking about a paradigm shift right so it takes us from a traditional request response kind of approach to an event driven and asynchronous world